Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There's no sound. Hey, hey. And. Okay. So, what I... I would probably give him a bit more of a staggered realization of what is going on, or, or uh, an awareness, if that makes sense. Meaning that there's this, and instead of looking... Oh, this kind of like a, there's a look, and then there's an immediate turnaround back. I would probably go more into... What is he doing? Okay, it's cool that he slows down with the steps. I think there needs to be something where he does a bit of a not at us, so watch out. And it's also a bit this one's a bit too close to the bridge to bring this eye out a little bit. But maybe it could be something where he's like this, and then he he has a bit of a dart more you know on the right side of the screen, and then maybe a bigger dart over there. With a slight head move and wait a bit, like a slight hold on that head move, and then a bigger move, and then this. Just so it's not so even and spliny, you wrong. So it's more of a, huh, what was that? Wait, what? And ah! So that kind of thing. He feels a bit stiff in his walk. Like his arms feel like if it's top view, that's the head, body, arms. It feels like arms are doing this back and forth in terms of um, their movement. Instead of something a bit more like this, like the arm would finish that arc, come back, finish like a slight figure eight. There could be a bit more, even in the chest a bit. I don't. Know, it feels it feels very stiff and and almost a bit fast. I'm not. You know, he could he could walk fast, of course, but there's something about tick 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 that feels very very stiff there. I'm gonna give it a little bit of an attitude, a bit of an offset. He might have a slight lean or something, just a bit more in him. And then it could be something that when he goes, wait, what? On the, I guess it maybe as a dart, and then the bigger dart that would be over here with a blink. And then as he goes, huh? Like the mouth would open a little bit, and then, ah! And that's cool. This happens. So offset your arms. Watch out for silhouette that the hand is not, um, what's the word? Just kind of a part of that forearm. I'm going to give you a nice silhouette with the arm out this way or this way. Same with this, I might, you might as well bring the fingers out. And it could be something where this happens and it will be a shoulder first. For a couple of frames, so that like he's really cringy up with, with the shoulders. And then arms come up. Because that way you you could delay those arms so that like the last move would be on this frame. So you don't have that arm coming up and then it's kind of stuck there doing nothing and then as you continue on a few more arm poses where uh, hand poses finger poses so it's not just so stuck there i think that would be on on that for her <clears throat> i would just give it a bit more complexity so that she's not just coming in attached to wires on a rail doing this So it would be something where, you know, she might come in like that with, you know, with a slight lean. So the head is like this, body's technically pointing this way. Uh, like instead of like that, it's pointed down. So she has a bit of a, of a change. Whoa, change as in my bounding box here. So it comes in here with a bit of a slight turn so that. You know, she's tilted this way with that arm. The grabbing arm will be on this side, right? And then at the end, she's a bit more tilted this way. Grabbing arm this way so that 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 side is lower so she can grab it. And maybe you can frame it so that, you know, it could happen where she's a bit more like this on that arm. Is there? I, mean, I don't know if you have room. You might have to adjust with the camera a little bit. But I'm looking at something where overall we have a change. A in her role this way, but also in why, even if you do an arc like this, that we see a bit more of the body, no more legs, and she comes in here. Because it's okay for the camera to also be late. Like she's, what happens too is that we are, we're watching him, and then we're very left heavy. To me, where it feels like 
keep going with the camera, focus on him, so that when it's when we're here, I mean, he could easily be here, if not a bit more. And maybe she is leaning in so that that arm is actually leaning going forward, if that makes sense. So that, so then she's a bit more like that, bzzz, if that makes sense. Head is here with the guy in the hat. And then this arm is the one leaning forward so that she's really reaching forward and it's not so, so, so stiff and simple there. And then what happens is that when she gets to this point, the framing would actually be that potentially this is the edge. So that she, she leaves frame and breaks frame just for a bit and then shoo, by now we catch up. Because there, there's not that much information here animation wise. And I think the character should lead the, the camera just a bit more. So it's not so per <clears throat> perfectly framed and that we're not so screen right uh, empty there. <coughs> Excuse me. Then... Q, but it could again be something where we're not maybe not so profile because she doesn't quite change until she's here. So it could be where she grabs this, and because this arm was leading so much that at this point that shoulder is actually the back side, and this one is the front one, a bit more three quarter, just to, just during this section, so that when she comes down to here, we're actually hooking up to this pose. But at this point, she that is still the leading, so it's not so busy here either. So imagine that will be further back. We are, we are favoring the other shoulder side, so we have a really clean silhouette of um, that other arm with the uh, with the hat, right? And then she can still have this and that. So it's a bit more like this with my fantastic drawing as always. And then she gets into this. And then I wonder, not that she has to do like, you know, boom, 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 but I don't know if you want to loosen up the chest and shoulders a little bit and the head on that, on that impact. Boom, boom. So that, meaning that to me, if she will come down, again, it doesn't have to be a crazy, whoa, whoa, but there's something where she's maybe a little bit more forward so that when she gets to this, she can straighten up again. Because my concern is that she is always, as you can see here, as we're pivoting off the head, once we get to this, this is just always the same, the same until this turn. In terms of the visual, the line of action of the upper part. So I think that could be neat to give a bit of a change. I like that. That's all cute. And then this feels just a bit fast and rushed and simple where the arms just kind of come out and then it just goes off. You know, so I would think about is she jumping and then as she, as she would fall, the wings really kick in. It's more of a ring. Or is she like this and the wings kick in and it's actually, you would feel how the chest gets pulled up and it's more of a, a raise where she goes more like that, where it's the wings. Meaning that like this would be lower, a bit more hunched over, maybe a bit more higher head like that. And then legs would drag a bit and then straighten a bit because it's, this is the driving force going up, if that makes sense. So is it a jump and then the wings kick in or is it the wings moving her up and then she goes forward? I think all of that could be a bit more complex and interesting. Also giving it a bit more, a couple more frames maybe. It's a bit too fast and we're out. So I would make sure that we actually exit and I would probably give it as maybe six frames of empty emptiness just so we can give it a bit of a rest, just a bit. So it's not so and we're gone into this. And that's that. Still super cute. I like it. These are just my, as always, my two cents. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.